All right. So today we're going to work on an ultraviolet sterilizer because tomorrow I'm getting some fish. And I thought, you know what? Not a lot of people know how to maintain a UV sterilizer. This here is a aqua ultraviolet 25 watta. I've got a 125 gallon aquarium. And these things work great. Very, very good. If you're concerned about ick, if you're concerned about different algaes, get yourself a, an ultraviolet light. But you got to maintain them. This is not just a, oh, I'm going to put it together and plug it on in and it's going to do by itself. Let's get a little bit of maintenance to it. So I'm going to. I'm going to clean the quartz sleeve. So there's a couple parts here. There's a part that comes off that has a gasket to where the wire goes into the fixture. And if you don't undo this one first and you try to start turning to unloosen it, the main wire is going to wrap and wrap and wrap. And it won't look like you're a professional when you're taking apart your UV light. We always like looking professional. so. You undo the next one, which will reveal the ultraviolet bulb. Now, when you're taking this apart, you got to be very careful, and you just kind of wiggle it just a little bit until it comes off. So there's some pins that fit in this little piece. Take out the quart sleeve, or the... Uh, the UV bulb out of the quartz sleeve and put it off to the side. Don't step on it. Not fun times. Now the next step, if you're going to replace your quartz sleeve, then you take this part off from this part. But we're not doing that. We're just going to clean the quartz sleeve. So you take undo that piece. Never ever try to go fast. Now you can see there's a little bit of junk on it. Not good. That's why we're maintaining it. It's time! And since there's water in it, we're going to stand it up and prop it so I can wipe off the quart sleeve. Stay! You just stay! Now I'll grab a piece of white paper towel, grab your quart sleeve, and run it right up it. And that quart sleeve has got, to, has got to be crystal clear. Now you can, I don't know if you can kind of tell, but see right in here? There's a little bit of clouding, but when this bulb fires, it's sitting about right here in the fixture. And the hottest part of this bulb is right there. You can see that's kind of clouded too. There's a little coil in there, and that gets super duper hot. And so you're going to get a little bit of clouding here. And yeah, you can't really tell. Oh, you can tell a little bit right here where the other end of the bulb is. Them are the two hottest parts of that bulb. So this this quartz sleeve is maybe five months old. So is the bulb. When I replace them, they're good for about, they say about 10 months. But I replace them about once every year. So, you know, now if your bulb's going bad, if your bulb's getting, if the bulb's just kind of breaking down, ain't as intense, when you wipe this quartz sleeve and you pull that piece of paper towel off to the side, there's going to be like a brownish color in here. I don't know what it is, but it's just funny that when the bulb starts going bad, the quartz sleeve gets, co gets coated in a brownish, yellowish goo. Then you know it's about time to replace your quartz or your UV bulb. I replace both at the same time because if this gets just a little clouded like that 
if the if the if the rest of this gets a little clouded, it's doing next to zero for your fish tank. So the ultraviolet light is very very intense, but it's getting filtered from being inside this quartz sleeve. The quartz sleeve's filtering some of the UV already out, and the water will also is also filtering that UV to where if it's if it's not an optimal brightness of intensity or intensity, you're not doing a whole lot. It's kind of like a little fine line. You gotta walk it. You gotta balance on it. So there's maintaining this. Now if you're having ick, if you have ick and you put a UV light in, it's good about once a month. Do what I just did. Wipe off that quartz sleeve. Just so you're running optimally. Killing all that ick. All their all their all their little babies, you want to kill them all. If you have an algae problem, try doing it once a month. Just cleaning that quartz sleeve off, wiping it off. Some of these units have wipers at the bottom, and you just pull the wipe. You pull the rod, and there's a there's a wiper on the inside that goes back and forth and and wipes off your bulb for you. I got I've got a couple of those fixtures where you don't have to take the whole unit apart. So that's pretty nice. We all enjoy that. This is a unit that doesn't have a wiper, so I'm taking it all apart. Another question I get is, you know, hey fish guy, what size UV do I need for my fish tank? You know, well, one thing about UV is when that bulb is in that quartz sleeve and that quartz sleeve is super clear and you got a pump pumping water through this unit, that ultraviolet light's killing anything that's going by it. So I've got a system downstairs that's close to 800 gallons. It's got a 25 watt UV light on it. The water's really clear. I've got no problems. I don't have any algae problems. Um, so I think it's doing just fine. Now if I had a, if I was seeing that, you know, the water's not clear, it's kind of murky, doesn't I've, it's all clean the 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 sterilizers running it's good but it's the water's then then I'd maybe step it up to a 40 watt but I've never had to usually go over 40 watts um, with any system so I think it's an old an old wise tale a good selling feature um, now if you're trying to pump a ton of water through a UV sterilizer yeah maybe you want a bit more a little bit more wattage. But I just have a, you know, maybe um, 500 gallons per hour go through my UV light. Maybe 600. Nothing fast. Just it's it's flowing through. And I've never, I have not had to deal with ick. I have not had to deal with any of that stuff. Um, so let's put it back together. To put the, there's a gasket. I don't know if I saw, showed you that. There's a gasket. That go that's you can actually put it right on top if you want. If you thus desire. Now the trick is there's a there's a catcher at the bottom, the other end of this sterilizer fixture. And so you gotta kind of find it's dead center, the very bottom, and that quartz sleeve has got to fit right into it. So that's the one trick. And it like right now it's not in there, so I can't tighten it. But it'll, oh, there it goes. And just, if it's going down, if you're really having a, uh, you know, I'm not good. Quartz sleeves aren't super tough. And I give it a good snug, snug as a bug in a rug. Tighten down. And then you slowly put it back in place. Now. Before I put the quartz, the, the uh, UV ball back in it, what I do is get my return line, which is right here, because right now I've got yet to. What I usually do before I work on this is turn the bulb, unplug the bulb, so that turns off, and then let the pump keep pumping, because that'll kind of cool down the bulb, because the bulb will be pretty hot, and then take the unit apart. Because that way the bulb's cooler or cold. 
because these things can get pretty warm. But let's plug it back in. Plug it back in. Plug it back in. Ooh, there it goes. Hear it? Let me check for leaks. We don't want no leaks. That's not fun times. Hear it going? Oh. I don't know if that's a leak or just because it's a little wet. That's why, before you put the ball back in there, you just want to make sure you don't have a big puddle mess. Let it just run for a minute, make sure we're not getting any leaks. Check our fingers. No wet. That's good. Good times. And what I'll do is, with the dry piece of the piece of paper towel, is I'll just kind of... I don't know if you don't want to touch it with your finger with your fingers. Because the oil's on your hands. Ah. See I just did that. I just told you not to do that. It's double standard. Alright. So that's really clear. Very nice. Check for leaky again. No leaky. We're doing very well. Now, be careful. And slide. I usually slide it in. Alright. And try to do this as horizontal as you can. I had it one time where I stood this thing up with a 40 watt unit. And I took it all apart. The, the, the four pin connection. I wiggled it just a little bit and got it apart and then I let go of the bulb and the bulb slid because I these are I believe porcelain at the tips of these bulbs and that they both ends and it cracked through the back part of the <laughs> court sleeve at the other end which made a big mess so just be careful be very slow and then sorry Put the pin part back on the UV. Uh, oh, ah, you can't really tell. See, I got the pins back in. Slide it back on in. And then tighten this part up. I mean, this isn't really in a watery area, but I still tighten it up. Because it looks more professional that way. People are all like, hey man, are you professional? And you literally tell them, yeah, I'm a professional. And then tighten up that last little piece. I've got quite a bit going on in this filter. So, slowly slide it back on in. go and put all your controllers back so they look all pretty and plug the ball back in. and it's on you're done now you can get your new fish Hopefully I don't have to worry about ick. And you just professionally cleaned your quartz sleeve on your UV light. So, if you have any questions, go ahead and give a comment. Hopefully I can walk you through if you're having trouble putting doing anything like this. But there is maintenance to these UV sterilizers. Um, when I, I don't know if I told you, but you know, I, whenever I replace the bulb, I replace the quartz sleeve. And uh, yeah. Other than that, they run pretty, if you're not having any kind of issue, try to do it like once every four months, once every 
six months just doing what I just did and making sure that quart sleeve is running optimally and you know, you're good to go. There's not too much involved with these quart sleeves. So, well it's good to go. Alright guys, thanks for watching.